my first time entering Winneba Township to see this secondary school, Winneba Secondary School. You see, since last year, the old students, they come in the comments section, they go like, this is Winneba Secondary School. Winneba Secondary School. Is, it, is this place Winnesec? Winnesec. I see Winnesec. I will find out from the, the they are there waiting for me. But a very big shout out to the Regional Education Director, Central Region, Madam Justine Apau. But as I'm going through the schools, I'm seeing all the tremendous amount of work that you're doing, the motivation, the morale that you're giving to the people. Ha! Ah, now I am here. Also, a very big shout out to um, the Education Minister. So you're going through the schools, you're visiting the schools, mostly in um, Greater Accra. I think you've been to Eastern Region too. You've not been to Central Region. So please, my people are waiting. Come and visit them. Come and eat dining with them. And you can call me. I want to follow you to everywhere that you go in Western Region. Please. Also, a big shout out to um, Reverend Fojo. I so want to meet the man. Oh, Jesus. Let's get inside. My full sponsorship. My, at the blue though, my fuel sponsorship, if you know all the petroleum companies, please tell them that they should come and give me fuel coupons so that I can travel through the schools. It's very expensive. Too much talking. Now, my head prefect, oh, this is her majestically, sister, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, and you? I am, okay, is it and me? I am well, just that I am hungry. Oh, really? For the past three days, nothing. I have used all my money to buy fuel. Oh, don't worry. After we get you something to eat. Sir? Yeah. <laughs> we don't disappoint. Hey, yeah. I see. They would like to know your name. What okay. is your name? Okay, I'm Lady Bernice Obosmith, the head girl of Winneba Secondary School. Lady Bernice Obosmith. Yeah. I like the name. Bernice Obosmith. And please, may I know your name too? Let's go. <laughs> My name is Gorsheth from High Schools Africa. Okay. Is that okay? Okay, nice that okay? meeting you. Nice meeting you, Miss Lady Obosmith, oh. the head prefect of Winneba. You know, when I first saw you, I thought you were um, like a nurse, a, a student nurse. No, not a student nurse, like an actual nurse. Like you work at a dispensary. Your uniform is very amazing. Oh, thank you. When I got in here, the first thing I saw, this thing here, I call it zigzag. It's what? <laughs> okay, so what please, is this zigzag? This, this is the navigation board. So the navigation board directs you to the various places in the school. You can see we have the entrance, the security post, the visitors lounge. So you look at the color of the particular place. Then as you enter the school, you know that oh, the dining hall has a yellow color. So the very moment you see, you see that this is the dining hall uh, with the inscription on it. On it. So this is a school map. It's like yes, a school map. Exactly. Then your school is big, wow. Yeah, we have a very vast land. Let me confess, you know, when I was coming, I thought I was coming to meet like three blocks, three buildings, like because I've heard I've heard Willy Ba Willy Ba Willy yeah. Secondary School. But me, this is my first time coming to this. Oh, okay. Do you know why I'm looking around? Why? I will tell you. Okay. This is my first time coming into this town and seeing your school, looking at this, we have a lot of um places to cover yeah. i don't know if we're going to finish because we also have an exchange program here oh okay yes nice. now while i was looking around is why do you have a whole lot of them here you know the bicycles we have day students it's not only a boarding school so mm. with the day students some of them stay close they have hostels around so because maybe they don't want to walk they prefer to use the bicycles that's why you see the bicycles around amazing yeah now tell me something about this place as in the the terrain where your school is the community okay. tell me something so about here it. is being referred to as the efutu traditional area can we walk when yeah, we, we pass away will we go i i prefer okay you we can also use this route. okay you have your own plan where should we pass let's first pass here. okay let's pass here. so this place is the efutu traditional area ah the efutu 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 yeah, it's here. Ah. and winneba secondary school is the center of winneba so our school is located right at the center of Huniba. And also the uh, Omar Odefe. When I say Omar Odefe, it refers to the paramount chief of Huniba. You call it Omar Odefe? Omar Odefe, yeah. What language is that? It's Huniba. 
the Futu language. So Futu is a language on its own. You people yeah. don't speak the tree and the pantry. Yeah, Futu is a language on its own. Eh. Yeah. Are you able to speak it? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I can speak some <laughs> Where one. Where are you one. from? I'm from Kaswa. Kaswa. Yeah. Wow, Omar Odefe. Yeah, Omar Odefe. And his name is Neyigate the Seventh. He is the Omar Odefe of the Winiba. Of Amazing. Winiba. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And uh, what 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 language uh, uh, occupation? What do they do here? Okay, so most of them are fishers, fishermen and fisherwomen. Uh, yeah. Amazing. They go to the sea. Yeah, so here fish. is a coastal area. Yes, please. The Atlantic Ocean is somewhere around here. Let's take it like that. So, so do you have a beach resort around here? Yeah. Uh, yes, please. We would like to go there. Okay. You want right? <laughs> <laughs> so you see this taxi over here? We have... That's Dr. Kwame Nkoma. No. We have Alfred Jonas Dona Hammond. He was the first member of parliament for Winneba. And he was also the founder of Winneba Secondary School. Amazing. Yeah. So, so when the man the got into parliament, the first thing he thought of was to build, to make sure that this community has a, a senior high school. Yeah, so he started it. You know, Winneba Secondary School we see today didn't just grow up and become Winneba Secondary School. It started first with a few students. It was first a preparatory school. Then as time went on, it grew and grew, and now we see in this the one. School. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing, I think the lesson we can learn from here is, you see, you say he was the first parliamentarian yeah. from Winneba here. And also the Minister of Education. The Minister of Education. Yeah. He was a Minister of Education. Yeah, from 1960 to 1964. Very long time ago. Were you born? <laughs> Amazing. So this is your small school run about. Yes. Where else will you take me to? So we have the administration this block. Administration yeah, block. this is the administration block. Amazing. Yeah. So let's stick it all around. Please take me. You see, I don't I have been to a lot of schools, but I hardly see this kind of you, you know the name of this car. Can you tell me the name? It's called Bonshaka. Oh, Bonshaka. You really know? No. So what do you call it? We just call it, you know, because it carries uh goods, the food stuffs. We just call it the food stuffs car, you know, something the like food that. No, 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 no. It's not food stuffs. I think we don't be angry. Oh. It's called Bonshaka. <laughs> don't change okay, don't, don't distort history. It's called Bonshaka. Yeah, because of its nature, you <laughs> <Yes>. know. Yes. <laughs> Bonshaka. It means that you see. This car it doesn't have a lot of shocks. Oh. So when you are in and it is going, it will shake your bones. Yeah. <laughs> Get into the pothole, your bones is, it will start shaking your yeah. bones. Wow. So this place is also where uh management, the headmistress, the accountants, the assistant headmistresses, that's where they park their cars, park, as you it, can it, see. You have a parking lot yes, here. Yes, yes, please. Oh, I, I like this place. Yeah, I and as to I told here. you, okay, then let's take it all. Come and see, so refreshing. As I told you that this that the administration block here, we have the account office. This is account office. Yes, please. And here we have the senior house mistress's office. Then you move on to the stores. The stores. That's where we take our uniforms and stuff. Ah. Then the notice board, where we post things. Amazing. Then so, the business office. That's the business office. Yeah. Then the assistant headmistress domestics office. Amazing. And can you wait a little? I have to. There is one interesting thing other people don't know about Winneba Secondary School. Tell me. It is only in Winneba Secondary School that we have a museum. So this is our museum. You have a museum? Yeah, we have a museum. Can we and Winneba Secondary School is the only school that has a museum. It can, can we go inside? Yes, let me check if it's open. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. Yeah. If Please, have... do you have a museum in this yes, school? Yes, yeah. we have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. I'll get the key. You come back to it. Yeah. You know what I like about this corridor? No. The, the flowers you've put over here. Yeah. It's so refreshing. Yeah, it's Who does the watering? Who took care of them? Some of the students. Do you, what what um, programs do you do here? Course? Or... Okay, so we offer general arts, general science business home economics and ritual art amazing yeah general science business home economics general science general science yeah and visual, and visual art so you yeah. do five over here yes please amazing and we also have the new library there's a new library an... it keeps going and it's extending so we built a new library complex not just a new library but a well-finished library complex Sa with everything in it can yeah. we can, can, i have seen come and see something okay. we are going to see the what is in there but i have seen some very um famous uh painting is it a photograph or painting let me look at this 
to glory of God, this yeah. library complex was facilitated by Honorable Edward Omane Buama. I have heard this name before. Yeah, the former Minister of Education. Communication, sorry. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. Amazing. Omane Buama. I yeah. heard the name before. So it was just recently, 2017. Wow. Yeah. And so, and this this is the library. Yeah, that's a new library complex. Can we go inside? Yes, please. Hello, good morning. Thank you very much. So you can see that we have a lot of books here where students come here to learn and as well as teachers. The environment is very serene. Amazing. We have fans which make the place conducive. Amazing. For learning. Yeah. Amazing. You know, in a certain in some schools they can't even boast of a fan. Oh. But some of you don't even have a library. Yeah. But you have it's very long. Yeah. It could be somebody's uh, assembly hall. Yeah, you know. Or this is where you convert to an assembly hall oh, when you no. want to do we also have an assembly hall and amazing. i'm going to take you there amazing it's a full package yeah your school is a full package yeah awesome come and look at come and look at this i saw this thing here is what okay so that's the stuff okay you know right here in we but they celebrate the abwater festival and you know as this place being the center of Winneba, this place also known as the town of the sacred deer you know, whenever it's a battery, they do catch a deer. So that's a number of people who have caught the deer. They, they catch a deer as in, how, how do they do it? That's Is it a live deer? Yeah, how, a live how deer. How do they do it? Yeah, they, they catch a live deer, two parties, you know. They go out there when the time is due, and the party that is able to catch the deer brings it first. So as you can see, there are people jubilating with the live deer. So this is the festival they celebrate Yeah, here a battery festival. Amazing. Yeah. Do you know when they celebrate it? The Abwache Festival is being celebrated in uh, uh, May. May? Yeah. Amazing. April, May. Yeah. That's next month. Yeah. So they will celebrate it yeah, next month. Yeah, they will celebrate the Abwache Festival. If you don't remind me, for you to come and see you. it. <laughs> and this one is what? Okay, here is the Junior's Block. Um, one of the blocks in the school. Hey, look. Yeah, the place is very hey, You serious. people, you get to. Let's go and pass there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a genius block. Yeah, this is a genius block. Amazing. And also this, the sick bay. You have a sick bay. Yes. Please. Can I go and see what is inside? Yes, please. So much to, to so much look at in this school, though, because I'm looking at. We're going to have an exchange program. I'm very, I'm very hungry. We did. We woke up very early and then we left, but we couldn't eat. Oh. So in my mind, you know, I said, I'm coming to. Of course, we're coming here, but we just walk around. Just a little space and go back and leave the rest for the exchange program. But it looks like I have to keep. You bought this thing? No, please. It's also a statue. You bought it no, and put please. it here. No. Where, how did you get this thing? It was donated by some of the horses. The old students. Yes, please. Amazing. I want to get a close look at. I just it. want to. Is a man trying play? Is he playing a drum or what? Yeah. Agbe, they've put, they've written Agbe 94. Agbe is what? If you know, do you know what Agbe is? Yeah. Yes, you don't. If you know what Agbe is, let me know. I don't know what it is. So there's the library. Yes. And no, no the school clinic. The school clinic. It's not the school clinic. There's the school clinic. The school clinic. Yes. Is this a hospital? Is it for the school or is it for the community? No, it's only for the school. For the school? Yes. So you are the school nurse. Yes. And you have a waiting room here. It's Come not on. a waiting room. It's a ward. We have the female ward. No, I see. I saw waiting room here. Like this place. Can, yeah. yeah, this place. Yeah, it's a it's waiting a room. room. It's a waiting room. It's a waiting room. It's a waiting room. It's a waiting room. Amazing. When they come, we take their vitals, BP, temperature, then we run some tents on them. Amazing. And we have malaria kids, so we will test you if you if you are positive, then we will give, give the you education. Treatment. Yes. I mean, so when it, if you on admission, then you admit them. Yes. They have a ward. Male ward and female. Male ward and female ward. But when it gets worse, you transfer them to an, an actual hospital. Yes. Which hospital? Municipal Municipal Specialty. Wow. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that if you bring your child here to this school, you don't have to worry about health no because they've got you covered. Yes. Unlike a certain school that I know, if you joke, I'll mention the name. 
<laughs> I don't have to. And we <laughs> have the word too. The word. A female word and the male word. Where is it? Let's she's, go. She's going to show me. That. You see, when I came here, she wanted to fight me. Oh, now she's the one going to show me the word. <laughs> so where are you coming from? <laughs> Amazing. I saw the word. Hello. You have, you, you have to get a uh, Oh. She's so having malaria. Sad. She'll be fine. Uh, Once I have entered here, mm -hmm. so here is they the will leave by evening. Amazing. Mm. Amazing. We have the male ward too. And you have a washroom. We have the washroom, yes. We have People everything. We have uh, the dispensary too. The where dispensary. we kept our drugs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So if you never secondary school there, when you come here and your child is sick, don't worry. Do you know what I like about the school? What? The, the corridors. You've put a lot of flowers on really? your corridors oh, yeah okay. a whole lot of them uh, a whole lot look it makes the it makes the, it makes it very beautiful wow okay i like your sick bay oh thank you it's it's really nice and uh excellence is contagious, it's contagious yeah what, what? so you know these uh motivational quotes are being kept on the trees and all that was and all that so that as a student sees it reminds the student of why he or she is here so you are always conscientized conscientized to learn right amazing you you need i like it i think i've seen there's yeah. one there and there's one here yeah. but you need a whole lot of them here yeah. Do you know why because you have a lot of trees so you can slap them anyhow anywhere <laughs> you just have to get the visual art students yeah the, the 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 only the um the first who i saw these things the um at bishop porter have you heard of that yeah, yes, yes in Takradi, they have a whole lot of them but you have an advantage over them because yeah. you have a lot of trees yeah so you can put a whole lot of them here yeah you just have to get plywood get the visual art students and then just just start it out yeah. like that it motivates the students and always keeps them on their toes very very you, you see you have a lot of advantage oh. this is the only portion you've put um benches here yeah what do you do here so students can can come here and learn and study amazing right? because the environment is serene and also as there are trees they shade right so you see it, it's big like you have a whole yeah, vast, vast you can put a whole lot of them here yeah. and also it's fans so now what we're going to do the old students of Winneba senior high secondary school this is the we have one spot here this one is fine but then there's another big space over here where you can come and do these things over here you see so get in touch with the school administration come you come and do it for the school they'll put your name on it they'll say so so and so did it maybe they'll call it so and so palace or place and they'll put your name on it somewhere around here somebody should take advantage of this the trees are very beautiful is this the tree they used to do light pole no they're very beautiful ha ah, the air I yeah in like love with I, I swear screen. to god yeah the environment is very serene you know and conducive you have to be here to feel what we are feeling amazing so over there, you can see some blocks there, it's part yeah. of the school. And you also have washroom over there. Yeah, but this is not working. It's not because working. Because we have well-finished washrooms. Sir? Neat and clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, the structure of this school is like the schools in Enzima, like in science in Yaha, it's like um, in Crofo, it's like high school. I don't know if these schools were... Uh, um, Dr. Kwame Nkuma had a hand in it because this uh, balcony over there, the Enzima schools, there, those that I have mentioned, they have the same okay. thing. Uh, the dormitory. Yeah, There's so a dormitory, we have the right? houses, the boys' dormitories. Amazing. You people don't sleep outside. No. You have a place have to sleep. Here, where they are very comfortable there. Amazing. You have. So that's a dining hall. That, that's a dining yeah. hall. But the frontage is over there. I, I am not going to go uh, inside because the exchange program a student will get in there. Oh, okay. And then you see, but this is yeah, it's like it's like in science in your high. Yeah. The, the one here, this this one you're looking at is a bathroom. Yeah, that's the, ba the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. This is the dormitory. Yeah, that's the dormitory. That's the bathroom. 
So it looks like the Safari so Nkrumah build, and there's a football pitch. Yeah, that's a football pitch. It's so huge, eh? Yeah, very huge. It's so huge. You people can beautify this school in a certain manner. You can. What is this over there? So that's another block over there, and that's the PJ block. PJ is what? It's just a name, PJ. PJ? Yeah, PJ. PJ? Yeah, PJ block. How did the name come about? It's. Well, actually, we came to meet it. Okay. That that's the name they've given to that block. PJ. Yeah. So, and you know this tree? It's this, called the Tree of Life. This one? Yes. Tree, tree of Life. Yeah, that's where the teachers sit, discuss, talk, correct students, and all that. So, that's the Tree of Life. Amazing. And tree there we life. have the art department, the visual art department. I really want to see what, okay, what goes. Okay, let's get inside there. Anytime you see a, a visual art, a block, you see it because of the paintings. Yeah, the paintings and all that. On it. They say the top we belong. They yeah. declared their stance over here. <laughs> the, so they did all these things, or yeah. they bought them. They did it. Wazor. It's not a water land, but they're putting wazor here. Wazor means welcome or what? Wazor is welcome. Yeah. Amazing. Come and see this art. I like this place. So that's where they make their artworks. So you see, they are paintings all over. Wow. They come here to decorate their artwork, do everything. There's another class too here. There's a class there. Wow. So. We have some of the works, the student works over here. Yeah. Have some of them here. Yeah. Hello. No one is here. Come and see. Yeah. They've done so um, you can bags. See some bags. And there are more to it. They are all in the museum. So you have some? Yeah, in the museum. Amazing. So you can see the handiworks of the visual students. Come and see this. Who do you think this is? That's a tool for. Amazing. Tool for. They've, they've done this thing for you here at Winnie Bar. So donate. Um, <laughs> give them 20 kg gold. And then let them use it to do something here. Amazing. Winnie Bar. So blown away. I'm so blown away. I like, I like, I like this environment. So the very moment you get here, you see that this the visual arts department. The, yes. Because of the paintings and all that on it. Wazor, welcome. And here is the art shed. Art shed. Yeah. You can hear music. That's where the music students. You, you have music student here. Yeah. Student here we music. offer either history or music. So wow. those who do not offer history offer music. So you can see the music students in there. Amazing. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Wow. Can we can we take the mic? Listen. This is this is my first time entering a senior high school and um, realizing that they um, they do music like as a course. Yeah. Is this for real? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Like you, and then you write an exam? Sure, what's it? You write what's your name? Since when? Oh, it's been long. Hey! We are told you are rehearsing for a school show. Oh. You are actually in class. Yes. Yes. So all of you are going to become musicians? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's not about musician. It's about what? We are just we are learning it for. It's not if you are doing music. It's not for uh, just becoming musician. Musician, yeah. Oh, what, 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 what will you do with it? Oh, as for me, I wanted to teach music, so I will further my education and then come come in. Mm. and become a, a music yes. teacher or yes, something. Please. Sir. Yes. How are you, sister? Uh, I'm 
chose music mostly because I like music and also it can also help me after my passing. Amazing. I have never seen anything like this before. Like seriously. Please, can you play the one you play so that we can get it here? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you do music here. Look at this. Yes, so that's one of the handiworks of the visual arts student. Who did it? The visual arts student. What was the name? COVID-19. So when COVID-19 came and they drew this, and you can see someone, a lady with a nose mask, indicating that we must put on our nose mask. I, I'm looking up for the student, the student who did this. He, his name should be, okay, it was done by... Lawrence A. Etsy uh, Barnabas Ado. You see, I'm giving them shout out. It's their good work. You, you only go and pick phone and start twerking. If I catch you, Onyame <laughs> Kinsma, Isaac Wafo, Frederick Kunsi, Samuel Obri, uh, Jansa Frederick, 2020. The year 2020. They've been out of the school and gone a long time. They've been, they've, they, they are gone a long time. But this is the work they've done over here. And even though they are gone, I show up here today, their name comes up again. That is leaving a legacy. God, there are so many of you who have written your name on walls. They are all around here. But who is going to talk about it? No, nobody. But we are even looking for paint to paint it. To paint it off. But this one, the school will paint everywhere. They will leave this name there. <laughs> As a legacy. So when you enter a school, that is the kind of legacy you should seek to build. Not just going to do roll call and then destroying the paint that people have used their hard earned money to buy to paint the walls. So you go you go like my friend Chloroquine. <laughs> Amazing. You have mongoose here. Yeah. And milk bush. It's so beautiful. Eh? When they start flowering, uh, when they start, is it flowering or flower? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. When it starts flowering, yeah, this uh, best will come around. Uh, is it canary or how I many best? Canary. Yes. So this is, this is another That's, house. Yeah, another girl's house. I ain't so in Jatwa. Jatwa house. Yeah. I ain't so. Please, if you were in this house here in Winneba, put in the comment box. Say, say, yo! <laughs> you were here, you were in this house. That's what house and I used to a house. Amazing. So that's a dining I can yeah, hear the utensils. The they, are, they, are, they, are, they are getting it ready for you. Yes. This is the senior's block. Yeah, that's the senior's block. Can we go around there? Yeah. Please come and see the senior's block. And you right there, we have the ICT lab. You know, we have two ICT labs. You know, we also offer elective ICT here. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the elective ICT students also have their ICT lab. Amazing. Yes. So let's. I check. like the way. You, do you do agri here? Yes, please. We also offer agri science. How you guys prioritize the veggie, the lawns? It's very amazing. We are going which way? Let's pass that way. It's very, very beautiful. Very interesting. You don't joke with them at all. Yeah. They are mostly trimmed when they are overgrown. Uh, and the more they get trimmed, the more they become yeah. beautiful. Like the milk bush. Yeah. So let's see if the ICT lab is open. Awesome. Hello. So this is the ICT. Amazing. 
Hello. Good afternoon. Amazing. That it has a vibrant ICT lab here. It's not a joke. Well finished with fans, air conditions, and working computers. Amazing. Everything is happening here at Winneba Senior High. So um, you want your son to... You do elective, elective ICT, ICT here. So, yes. Yeah. But when you show up... Hey, look. Is what a projector? Yes, please. Wow. I have never seen this one before. Okay, and a board for learning as well. Only in your school? Yes, only in Winneba Secondary School. So we also have an elective ICT laboratory, but that one is closed. It's closed. Yeah. Amazing. You can use so the other way. Yeah. Can use other way. Yeah, this is so you can senior. see teachers in classrooms teaching. They don't joke at all. Yeah, they don't joke with academic work. Amazing. So that's the elective ICT it's laboratory. Ah, uh, okay. But it's locked. It's locked. It was recently handed over to us. I I, I perceive that place will be more beautiful yeah, as compared yeah, to Yeah, it's very beautiful. And it has the needed equipment. Amazing. Well finished. You're going which way? Yeah, let's see. You were asking of the Greek students, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're also on the other side. Amazing. Yeah. So they are the ones who take care of the the lawns, right? Yes. Please. Or you have school laborers? No. Yeah, we also have school laborers so the Greek students can willingly, you know, partake uh, okay. in it. But we have laborers who work on it. Okay. So that's our Greek students. Amazing. Hello. Hi. I just want to say hi for uh, your lawns, very beautiful. The way you've decorated here with lawns is really amazing. You, you, you guys have done well. I think you should keep it up. But then, uh, over there where you have your um, bench, the, it's not lovers bench, it's leisure bench. <laughs> Hey, you, you like love, Papa? Yeah, leisure. Leisure. <laughs> well, you have your leisure bench. You know you can do a whole lot of them there. Because you have spaces over there. You just have just a round section over there. But there are a lot of space there you can do more. Maybe I should have said that to the visual students. They can do that. You want to say something? At the plan number 151. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So that's where they do their practicals and all that. So you can see a seat over there mm -hmm. with food in it. Yes. Telling you that that's the home economy department. Right? But they are selling it? Yes. Amazing. It's what? That's potato, fried potatoes. Awesome. Yeah. And we have a physics and a biology lab. Uh, where is it? I want. To, I have to see it. If but it's that closed. is, if they are open, it's closed. It's closed. This one is open. No, that's another entrance. So you can pass that place and go out. Ah. So the, the biology lab is open. Let me tell you something. See, I like this this student, the very disciplined student. <laughs> you go to some school, even though this thing has fruit. Yeah. It's not yet right. Yeah. They will destroy everything. They will pluck everything. Even they pluck something and put them here. Yeah. They are right though. Yes. Whoever that plucked them has no use of it. But he left them there. Maybe somebody will need it and they'll yes. come and take it. They will not pluck it and throw it away. Yeah. They are not recalcitrant like you. <laughs> Our students are disciplined. <laughs> Amazing. That's so we can go thinking. into the lab. They are having some practicals there. Awesome. Uh -huh. have a look. Maybe we shouldn't disturb them here. Maybe That's here. no this place. So we can go inside. Amazing. Wow. Good afternoon. Sir. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. So, Good afternoon. Hello, um, so this is a chemistry lab. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's not fake. It's happening. So Winneber Secondary School does not only do the theory aspect of it, but we also do the practicals. Awesome. So you can see students practicing. 
Wow. And they have their teacher here, right, with them, teaching them what to do. Amazing. You have all the tools. Yes. Wow. Guys, we're looking at our future chemist. Yes. Maybe next time when COVID breaks out, they will be able to do something about it. Fast, fast. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. What do you think about this lab? What do you think about this school in general? I mean, they have a whole lot of them here. Yeah. All for their practicals. Wow. And then you go which way? We can pass here too. Here? Yeah. You don't have an assembly hall? We have an assembly hall. Where is it? It's at the other end. This one is what? There's a dining hall. That's the dining hall. So that's the front view of the dining the hall. The front view of the dining hall. So you know, we have sinks in front of the dining hall. We, we let's not go there. The exchange program will come. Okay. If we go there, I will, I will not come from the exchange program. <laughs> that's why I don't want to tempt myself. Yeah, you know how. But just when I enter there, nice. I'm not coming back here again. So we are going which way? That way. You wanted to see our assembly hall, right? Y yes. Yeah. You, you don't have a head boy here. We have a head boy. What do you see? We are still looking for the head boy. Bro! Who is the head boy? I'm the one. It's you. Yes. You are the head boy. Yeah. I like how you've ironed your shirt. It's, it looks way different from his. <laughs> but who is who is he? Um, this is my commanding officer. He's your what? My CEO. That's my CEO. And I'm the commanding chief of the school cadet. So he's the CEO. So he's always with me. Sir? Yeah. Everywhere you go, you have this gentleman following you. Yes. That's the post you have here. Yes. Oh, we'll say your name is what? Master Edmond Asse. Master Edmond Asse. Amazing. Brother, what, where is this place? Can you take me here? Yeah. So, this is the PJ block. It's a classroom block. PJ? PJ. We call it the PJ. So, we have the Madagascar block. The juniors blog, the seniors blog, and PJ. So actually, we have four classroom blogs in the school. Amazing. Yeah, and this is the recent blog which was just built. So this is the PJ blog, and it consists of thirteen classrooms. This one is thirteen yeah, classrooms. 13 classrooms. And we have the um, chief counselor's office here. You have a chief counselor. Yeah. What What does the person do? Also, uh, usually um, on Thursday morning we have what we call home room. Yeah. Home Home rooming. Home rooming. Yeah. Where well, we gather the students and then we advise them. Since we can't come to the school and just pass through um, academic um, training. Uh -huh. So they engage the students in those advising reproductive health um, education and stuff like that. Every Monday. Every Thursday, Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Yeah, that's what we do. Amazing. Yeah. So actually the form two students are occupying this block this one is for the form two students yeah the form two students how do we get up there we have a staircase so this is what i was talking about yeah. hello Amazing PJ block. Yeah, PJ block. What's, what's the meaning of PJ? What does it mean? Um, you see, um, I told you that this was the this is the recent block. Yeah. So, um, the block was not complete. Yeah. So that was it. So, but the block was needed in order to occupy the space. So, the PJ there is meaning the project. So ah, project block. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they had to. Round up with everything fast so that the student can not yeah, okay. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You also have uh, this yeah, basketball court. court. Basketball court. Yeah. Uh, you people, you have almost everything now. Yeah. And that's the, the room. Yes, yeah, chief counselor's office. Amazing. Yeah. What is this? So, I'm sure it's made by this class. So, senseless entrepreneurship mindset. Maybe it's made by the class. Entrepreneurship mindset. Yeah. They are fully here. Yeah. They, they are in school. They are thinking of entrepreneurship. Amazing. Entrepreneurship mindset. Yeah. Entrepreneurship. That is something that must be 
yes. um, inculcated into the uh -huh. student. It should, it should actually be a subject product. Are you sure we can get down? Yeah, from oh, here? we can get down. Are you sure? Yeah. No, we have a lady. Oh. <laughs> we have a lady. We can't do that. <laughs> they will blast us on the internet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, this wow. is the Bebop font. Do you use it? Yeah, we use it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, What a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to ask, I have to find out. <laughs> Maybe they've halted it for some reason. Okay. So, the assembly Amazing. hall is in this direction. I, I want to see the assembly hall. Ah, okay. Please take me there. Okay. Let's go and see the assembly hall. So, um, that's also a girl's dormitory. Ah, yeah. down there. The new block. So, this whole place is forward. Um, yes, yeah, there's the compound. So, but this is the school field. That's the school field. The school field. And that's the Madagascar block. So, you have the assembly hall. Yeah. That's the assembly hall. Yeah. It's huge. Oh. Yeah. That's the assembly hall. Come and see the assembly hall. They do not stand in the sun to do open assembly. Yeah. They have a comforter, but it, I think it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. It's locked. Mm -hmm. It's locked. We don't have any session today. That's so they have to lock it. Yeah. So the name of this blog is the Nini Gati Assembly Hall. The Nini Gati Assembly Hall. Nini Gati. Nini Gati. That's the one of the four of the Futu oh, okay. traditional event. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Locked. Yes. We have to lock it. I can just peep. <laughs> Through the window. Yes. Majestic. So huge. Eh? Yeah. Okay, we have some guys in there. Uh, let me see the tapping secret. The chaplains are in there. Don't worry, we will come for the same program. So, I don't let the business do not speak about when the school was established. So, I really want to know. So, the school was established in 1949. This school? Yeah, 1949. Ha! So, as I'm speaking, it's 74 years the old. The school is 74 years old. Yeah. So, so, this school was established a year before Ahantaman because Ahantaman is 75 years old. Uh, okay. This one is 74. 74. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So it came before this one, like a year. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So this is the statue of the first headmaster of the school. Sure. Yeah. What's the motto of this school? Diske ut labores propacha. Yeah. It's what? Diske ut labores propacha. Diske ut labores propacha. What language is that? Um, it's a Latin language. What yeah. does that mean? And it means living to serve a fatherland. But you see, Ghana is a motherland, so we've changed it from fatherland to motherland. Amazing. Yeah. Why can't you change the whole thing to <laughs> fancy or cheap? Fancy. You see, um, we we it's in terms of the Latin because of the colonization and stuff. Amazing. But yeah. now we are no longer under any colonization. Well, why can't you? Don't you think we can actually link up with headmistress and, and change, the, change the motto? Uh, oh, you don't mm, think so? That one too. Headmistress will not do. She will not do. She will not do. She will not do. I don't think so. She will not do. Headmistress, will you do it? She won't. She won't do it. Amazing. So, but can I see headmistress? Yeah. I will definitely take you there, but I would like to speak to you about some of the notable alumni. You should, because yeah. in 1949, 1949, you should really have a lot. Yeah. Tell so, me all of it. Kwaokesi came to this school. Kwaokesi? Kwaokesi. Abada? Yeah, popular in Nuna. Kwaokesi? Yeah. And you have never been here, yeah. right? Did Jesus? Has yeah. he ever been here before? Um, as for that one, I don't know. Since you got into this yeah, school, you've never seen Kwaokesi here. Yeah. And Brother, repent. Let me tell you directly. <laughs> repent. <laughs> See, your presence in this school will give this student motivation. Of course, there are a lot of um, student musicians here who are coming up. They will take inspiration from you. So once in a while, pass through. Call me. We did uh, back with Aluminous. I took Kojo Sheldon to his alma mater. Get in touch. I will do all the organization for you. You come and talk to the student. It's, it's, it's motivation. And can I tell you one thing? Tell me. Do you know that Satawali passed through this school? Satawali too? Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> do you know? He didn't complete yet. Oh, Jesus. Shatter didn't complete. Shatter didn't complete. Why? 
Ya lu kan ni guys. Wah, cobi. Come and tell me. Come and tell me. Come and tell me why. Sasa. Yeah. So he didn't complete. He didn't complete. He came to this school he didn't complete. Sasa wale. He came to this school he didn't complete. He didn't complete. Because Mm. Yes, okay, yeah, you know. let's let's yeah. leave it. So now let's move. Are you to... sure Shata came here? Yeah. Oh, Shata came here. Yeah, Shata but he didn't, came, complete. But he didn't complete. He even has an um, a picture of him and then, then a student. They were in this white t-shirt and then a ceremonial dress. Yeah. But he didn't, he didn't complete. Complete because of I, I don't know. Okay, where. let's go. Let's go and see her <laughs> dress. I hear about the school, Winneba Secondary School. Um, I, I thought it's just a small compound or something <laughs> like that. But, madam, I want to know your um, personal vision for this school. Right. Um, so, my name is Comfort Oti Akenten. I'm the wife of the former technical director of the Ghana Football Association, wow. Oti Akenten. Wow. Yeah. And um, I am fortunate to have the opportunity to teach in this school before I came to head. I taught in this school from 1993 after university to 2010 before I left here to another school and to head at Fosu in a school at um, Jase and then I came back to Uniba Secondary School and I'm so proud. I'm not an old student of the school but I have the school so dear to my heart because living in somebody's um, I mean, community to have that peace of mind to work that alone means that everybody has embraced you. And so I feel that for me to pay back, it is to give out my best so that at least I will know. And to find out maybe what I have for the school. Every school has a vision and a mission statement. And then for us, it is for us to just ensure that that one is workable and then to see how best that one could come to pass. So for my school, the vision is to become a world-class second um, cycle institution that produces graduates with exceptional leadership and innovative abilities to meet the ever-challenging and increasing manpower needs of our dear country. Oh, you, see, you see that the nation <laughs> is developing. Now we cannot think about those times um, because at the time I was teaching here, there's whole population of students from form one to upper six wasn't up to a thousand. Wow. But now for form ones alone, we have a thousand and fifteen. Form twos we have a thousand and twenty-five. And the current form threes we have eight hundred and ninety-five. So you can imagine. Wow. And so um it is not also only the school. We also have um um, other schools. I'm happy you said you found out that in Central Region alone we have about 70 and 78 schools in Central Region, which means that the number keeps increasing and therefore we will need more manpower to fill up the gaps and to make sure that we, we move up to that. Sure. And so looking at the bits and pieces to put together, it is human beings we are handling and it is to put in them something positive or to nurture them in such a manner that in future we can also be proud that these students pass through our hands. And so apart from the academic work, for me now I will say that going to school, you don't even have to think of training the mind alone, but the heart, the hands, everything. And it means that you are grooming the person in totality. Sure. You are training the person to be able to live with and be lived with when the person has completed school. And that is exactly what we are doing. So for us, some of the things that we add on to ensure that it actually um, edges the students on is not to see students only with their mistakes and punish them, but we reward for students who do good things. And so for us, every Monday at assembly, two students are awarded for the best personalities of the week. Wow. And that one looks at every move of the student whether in the classroom in the dining hall with friends and then we will give them an award of a shield and uh, with some candies with an envelope of about 20 cities it's very small but then my students really appreciate it wow we go announcing them in assembly alone it's something and then we also give them a special lunch 
<laughs> it is wow. just that just recently um it hasn't been all smooth but then um when we started we ensure that we allow the student to tell us what they wanted for one lunch and it was given with uh, maybe a, a drink and then a bottle of water you wow. know for the students they only go for the associated water but then that's what we do wow. and so um we also want to ensure that our students at the end of everything are self-disciplined that they are aware of themselves and what they can do and they, they have a lifelong search for knowledge and excellence Amazing. and so exactly that is what we are also ensuring that our excellent teachers or our teachers who have been posted here will be able to impact positively on the lives of our students for me personally um any new teacher who is posted here sometimes they feel that is too much I interact with them one on one to first of all tell them that Winneba Secondary School is a family. And so, as you come, if there is anything that you feel you don't understand, you don't have to stand behind. We are a family, and as the Akan tradition goes, we cannot wash our dirty linen outside. But when it is within and we have the scars, at least we can resolve together bits and pieces from each. A teacher or from each instructor or facilitator will push us there and so we see our own mistakes and then we try to resolve it up around us here in the school is where we don't even think about it. students have certain boundaries even though we have a channel of communication to say that students can go up to this limit the headmistress office is not a limitation because we feel that um sometimes for the students when they have somebody who has a listening ear they come out with their issues and for me students come and i allow them tell my secretary you want to see the headmistry i don't think any student who just want to toy with his life or to think that mm. i just want to come and play around the headmistress will come but you see that people with very laudable and intelligent issues come around and when they come we sit around the table to discuss they are also stakeholders and they also need to give their point. Wow. So for us, um, it is to develop them in totality for the future of this nation. I have always told my staff, well, for my students, whatever comes out of them, as for teaching, they cannot teach me. But one day they will become doctors, and as an old lady, mm -hmm. I will go to their consulting Most room. Definitely. One day as engineers, they will build or construct roads, and the car that I sit in will pass on. So if you don't put anything positive or anything good in them, they are the same people who will come and destroy you. And so it is not thinking about they are biological children, but we have an account to give on whatever has passed through our hands to say that the future is passing through our hands. What have we for them? What did we give to them? What did we do to add to what they have? And that is all that Winneba Secondary School is for. Amazing. We are very happy that the Board of Governors, everybody, all stakeholders are behind us to ensure that we achieve this purpose. Thank sure. you. Sure. Um, Madam, uh, one more thing. You know, unlike some other school, your school has been there for a very long time. Now, with all these things that you've mentioned, it's going to take um, a lot of um, hands are uh, supposed to be on deck for it to happen. I want to know how your all students can be a part of this vision in realizing this. If you are asking me this question, I want to stand and clap for my <laughs> all students. I will want to give them a standing ovation. Yes, those past times for me, I thought that schools like Infantipim, Wesley Girls, Holy Child, they were actually supported by their all students. But I will say that Winneba Secondary School, my old students, I give them a thumbs up. They are very, very supportive. Yes, um, uh, they, they are doing their best. And for us, anytime we are having a speech day, we have projects that we outline. There was one particular project that, in fact, was a very big challenge to even my predecessor. And because this nice office that you see, at certain times when it rains, I have to stay out of this office. My secretaries have to stay out of the office because it was leaking. 
And you know, for all students, sometimes when they come, they will want to have projects where they will have their names attached to it. But if you go downstairs, the last year when we had our speak day, the 1994 year group with the assist formers did the sponsorship. And they roofed the whole of the administration block. Wow. So now, as I sit here, whether it's, it's cloudy or mm -hmm. it's windy, I don't, I don't fear anything because they have made it very comfortable for me to also work in this office. Wow. And so I will not say it is only their year group. We have had year groups that have donated some of the times of my predecessors. And during the COVID, it was wonderful. Wow. These nice cabinets you see here were donated by a year group. Wow. So many that they do. So many that they call to find out what the school really needs. And I now see that um, irrespective of all that the government is doing, now all students see their schools as their bona fide properties and they are doing a lot. And university secondary school, all students are not an exception. Amazing. They are good. Amazing. So, um, um, Winneba All Student Association, you asked me to come here. Of course, I have come. You've seen your school where it is. There's so much to be done anyway. Just like our headmistress is saying, so much you're doing to support the school. But there's still a lot to be done. So, um, um, Put yourself together. Maybe you're watching. You're not part of the Old Student Association. Please have put the number there. Get in touch with the school administration. And then um, find out how you can be part of the Old Student Association. And then be part so that you can contribute your quota to the school so that the continuing student will benefit from um, whatever that you do for the school. <laughs> Ethiopia,